What's good, good men? My name is Lazarus Bruno Jr. and I am a performance and wellness coach at Good Man Wellness LLC. And I'm here to provide you practical ways on how to build healthy masculinity. Now I know uh, we live in a world that has uh, diluted that a little bit, but I wanna advocate for all the good men out there and help us continue to take steps towards being our best selves, man, as good men. Here are the three ways that we can cultivate healthy masculinity. The first one is to courageously challenge ourselves in the area that we know we should have acted on a long time ago, right? There are some things that you know if you did today that it will make you better, it would help you feel better, it will help you look better, it would just produce a lot of beautiful and healthy fruit in your life. All right. You've been sitting on your hands in this area. You haven't taken action step. And I get it. Right. A lot of times we've been handed a lot of disappointment, a lot of letdowns, a lot of setbacks every time that we, you know, set our minds on doing something. But we cannot allow that to keep us on the sideline and create voids that other people have to feel for us. Right. We need to be men that are on our post. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have to define what the, those action steps are in order to um, be able to continue to continue to challenge ourselves. Right. So write those things down. It doesn't have to be a lot. I want you to just take on one of those areas, create action steps behind it and then exercise that in the courage. And no matter what the result is. I want you to continue to exercise it, which leads me to my second practical way to develop healthy masculinity, which is men, we have to exercise self-discipline. It is impossible for us to be men of standard, to be good men, to be men of excellence without mastering the, the, the discipline of self-discipline, right? Because it's hard to accomplish anything that's difficult without leaning into that discomfort like we talked about with the first one and so it's just like with anything we have to learn to be comfortable while being uncomfortable and going through any process especially in the early stages there's a lot of discomfort and we have to learn to lean into that because that's what strengthens us and the more we do that there's a lot of confidence that comes from people who know that they have put themselves through processes that have challenged them but also in the meantime has changed them for the better and so i want to encourage you to do that to develop that area of self-discipline because that is a char characteristic of healthy masculinity and the third one and the last but not least one is to be a man of principle know what you stand on know what you stand for because like we know the saying says a man that doesn't stand for anything falls for everything right so we want to make sure that we have drawn a line in the sand and make sure that we have defined those principles that we want to live our lives by so that when it comes time to make a decision we look at our principles we say hey this is the man i want to be this is what i'm doing regardless of if it's popular regardless of what type of conflict or friction it's going to bring that's what creates leaders leaders are people who stand for something right who have gone against the grain and those are the men that we respect and I want you to be that man and I want myself to be that kind of man and we can only do that by exercising our um, you know challenging ourselves uh, being able to establish self-discipline in our lives and then standing on those principles that we want to be known by because that is what forms our legacy so in closing being able to exercise these three practical ways of defining and cultivating your healthy masculinity will allow you to be the good man you deserve to be and i am lazarus bruno jr out here screaming from the mountaintop good men do exist